Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is interface and how to use interface in Java. Already in our previous video, we have discussed about uh, abstract classes in Java. In case if you haven't watched that video, the link is available in the description. So please watch it. So already we are familiar about abstract class. So now we are going to discuss about interfaces in Java. So already we know that by using abstract class, I can define as well as I can declare an abstract method. So finally abstract class is a collection of concrete method plus abstract method. In other hand, we have one more thing called interface. I can define an interface by using a keyword interface. So the difference between abstract class and the interface is inside abstract class, I can define a method as well as I can declare abstract method. But in case of interface, I can declare a method. So finally, interface is a collection of only abstract method declaration. Let me say my abstract method one. Only declaration. So finally, in interface, I can have only declaration. There is no definition. But in case of abstract class, I can define a method plus I can declare a method. But in case of interface, it's a collection of only abstract method. Nothing but declaration. I can declare a number of abstract method in an interface. You can you can look at the uh, syntax previously in case of abstract class to declare abstract method we came with the keyword abstract but coming to interface this abstract keyword is optional because by default interface is a collection of only abstract method so by default interface method all are public abstract so this keyword is optional by default interface methods all are public and abstract so that's why I no need to specify abstract keyword in case of interface abstract method because it's by, by default and it is optional. So finally you can look at my scenario. I have an interface, my interface. In that interface, I have declared two abstract methods. So finally in interface, I have only declaration. There is no definition or there is no implementation yes interface is a collection of only abstract method so finally object creation is not possible for interface same as for abstract class so like our abstract class for interface also i can have a reference but i cannot create object if i try to create object of my interface like abstract class it will give a compile time error saying that cannot initiate we are seeing interface i have only declaration so that's why uh, it's an incomplete one right so that's why i cannot create object but i can create a reference like our abstract class i'm summarizing the points once again abstract class is a collection of abstract method plus normal method normal method in the sense concrete method or method with body but interface is a collection of only abstract method i mean only declaration is possible in interface how i am defining a interface i am using a keyword interface and inside this interface i can declare n number of abstract method so by default interface methods all are public and abstract so that's why i no need to specify 
abstract keyword to declare an abstract method in case of interface. Here it is optional, but in case of abstract class, yes, I have to specify it. So finally, interface is a collection of only declaration. So which means it's a, again incomplete one. We have only declaration, there is no definition. So that's why for interface, I cannot create an object, but I can create a reference for an interface. So now definitely we will get a question. Then how to use this interface in my program? It's almost same as abstract class. If I want to use my interface in a program, I will be coming with a normal class. In that normal class, I have to implement. So please mark the keyword. It is not an extent, it's a keyword implements. In the normal class, I will be implementing my interface. And same way, like your abstract class, the implementing normal class must provide a definition for all abstract method. In case of abstract class also, same. The extending normal class must override all the abstract method from abstract class. Same way, the implementing normal class must provide a definition for all the abstract method from the implementing interface. I have given an implementation, but still I am getting an error message. You can look at the error message. It is saying that I cannot reduce the visibility of inherited method from my interface. Yes, by default, interface method all are public. So which means I cannot reduce the visibility in case of overriding. So I have to make all the method as public. So now you can see, so there is no error. So the reason is by default interface methods all are public. In case of overriding, so the visibility cannot be reduced. So that's why I have to make it as public. Because public is the most highest or visible scope. And just to test our output, I'm just making a println statement. And I'm displaying my abstract method one. Same way in the second method also, I am displaying a statement, my abstract method two. So now my interface is ready to use. Now same as our uh, abstract class, either I can go for dynamic method dispatch, nothing but super reference sub object or I can go for direct normal class reference equal normal class object and by using any of the object either opj1 or opj2 I can call the methods for example I am going to use a normal class object I mean opj2 to call my abstract method one as well as my abstract method two. Let me run this code and we'll check our output whether we are getting output in an expected manner or not. Yes, you can see it is executing both method from my normal class ps we know that overriding is completely based on object so hope friends we are clear what is interface and how to define an interface in java and how to use this interface in a program
So finally, interface is a collection of only abstract method. If I want to use interface in my program, I have to implement this interface with my normal class. And the implementing normal class must provide a definition for all abstract method from the interface. So finally, interface is only declaration. So that's why I cannot create an object. But for an interface, I can create a reference. And with the help of subclass object, either normal approach or DMD, I can invoke all those methods. So now you may get a question, can I define a constructor in interface? Yes, in abstract class, we can define a constructor. Yes, in abstract class, definition plus declaration is possible. But coming to interface, it's only a declaration. So which means I cannot define anything. I cannot define a static method. I cannot define a constructor. In interface, only declaration is possible. I cannot define anything. So which means I cannot define a constructor. Or I cannot define a static method. So only declaration is possible. But extra thing is you can have a variable in the interface. But by default, interface variables all are public, static, and final. Already in our previous video, we have discussed what is static variable and what is final variable. So only this variable declaration is possible in the interface, but by default, interface variables all are public, static, final. So hope friends, finally in interface, only abstract method and final variable is possible. I cannot define other than these two anything. I cannot define a constructor, I cannot define a static method. So no defining is possible in interface. Let me change this code slightly. Let me make this is my interface one. Just to explain one more concept. Just assume that I have two interface, my interface one and my interface two. And in both interface, I have a abstract method, my method, my abstract method one and my abstract method two. A normal class can implement multiple interfaces. Now you can see I am trying to implement two interface. So please understand this point very clearly friends. A normal class can implement multiple interfaces. But this is not a multiple inheritance. So if it is an inheritance, I have to use a keyword extends. But here I am not using a keyword extends. I am using a keyword implements. So finally, this is not an example of multiple inheritance. In our next video, we will discuss uh, how, how to achieve uh, inheritance or multiple inheritance. Uh, by using extends keyword in interface. So finally here I'm just trying to say a normal class can implement multiple interfaces but this is not an example of multiple inheritance. Yes, I'm not using a keyword extends. So finally you can look at this code. A normal class is implementing functionality from my interface 1 and my interface 2. So finally the normal class must provide a definition for all the abstract method from my interface 1 as well as my interface 2. So finally the same scenario I can go for either a dynamic method dispatch approach either my interface 1 reference or my interface 2 reference.
yes now i have two uh, base interfaces right so i can make a dynamic method dispatch like this first interface reference equal subclass object or second interface reference equal subclass object yes this normal class is getting a functionality from my interface 1 as well as my interface 2 or else i can go for our normal uh, way of object creation and then i can call all the methods yes in my normal class i have all the functionalities so finally if i run this code i will be getting the same output yes i just modified the same code to explain implementing multiple interfaces so finally you can look at the output i am getting the same output yes it's a very uh, same code as my previous program but one thing don't forget uh, friends a class can implement multiple interfaces but this is not a multiple inheritance because i am not using a keyword extends so in our next video we'll discuss how to achieve inheritance in interface and how to make multiple inheritance with the help of interfaces so hope friends we are clear about uh, interfaces and how to use interfaces in java so thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload a new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends